All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, got my co-pilot here with me. And I'm gonna do this for y'all since y'all been asking for me to do this. Give me a treat. Come on, Bob. I'll go. As you can see, I made it through Jalen Wayne. Got a lot more dead soldiers in my beard than I started last month, but I'm here. I'm dead wrong for laughing at me with stuff I went through. I told y'all, y'all on the list. But today, I'm picking a movie. I picked the movie, me. I got to pick the movie where I have to go through last month's hell. So, I picked Breakfast Club. I've been told it's a good movie, but that's not why I picked it. The reason why I picked the Breakfast Club because it was on the list of movies, the big long list of movies I got to watch. When they told me it was about some kids in detention, I picked it because it. I I know that has no violence, no jump scares. Nothing of the sort. It's just kids in the ditch. I I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know how really this is a movie, but apparently this is one of John Hughes's movie. John Hughes, John Hughes. Am I saying his name right? I don't know who he is, but apparently he's a big deal in the eighties. I've been told I watched one of his, one maybe two of his movies before, but I got a whole bunch of his movies to go through. Like I said, I really, I don't know who it is, so I apologize. I know some of y'all probably look at me sideways right now, but are you really shocked that I don't know who that is? I had never seen Rocky. You know what I mean? I'm saying? I know this ain't the same thing, but I'm saying. I know Emilio Estevez is in this movie. I cannot think of the person's name. Judd Nelson, maybe. I don't know who Judd Nelson is, but apparently Blank. Blank blames him for the death of Optimus Prime because Judd Nelson played Hot Rod in the cartoon Transformers movie back in the day. He said he ever seen Judd Nelson, he's going to punch him in the face. He said he loves him, but he's going to punch him in the face because three-year-old him is still mad at him because he got Optimus Prime killed. So, we beef with Judd Nelson today, apparently. So, that's really all I know about the movie. I've like, I've, like I said, I've heard it was a good movie. I've heard the name of this movie over the years. I just, I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing this because I've heard it's a good movie, but I'm very curious how the, a movie that's about detention really good. Plus, I'm a fan of Emilio Estevez because he was in the Mighty Ducks. I'm a Mighty Ducks fan, so, you know. I'm just happy it's November, you know. A little excited. I'm looking forward to jumping into this. So, before we do, I need y'all to do me a favor. You want to tell him? You want him to hit that like and subscribe? Oh, he don't care about this part. He just want to let y'all know one of the more scary movies. I need y'all hit that like subscribe for me. <laughs> okay, baby, he does care. Don't forget that bell notification. Also down in the description is a link to the Patreon. Over in Patreon, you'll find all my full of reactions, exclusive movies, exclusive TV shows. You also get access to our weekly voting because we do a poll over there every week. I'm gonna give a shout out to our VIPs. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, their beautiful dog, Missy. Oh my God, you're not dying here. But Brandon, Big Al, Robin, Don the Patrick, Lost Opportunity, Cody Stalmeyer, Simonix, Frost 1997.
Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Olsen, Donnie Boy, Adam, Adam Rondo, Big Frank, JB, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Rowley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., Steve McClusoe. <laughs> I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank the rest of the family for being here. Without y'all, we don't have a channel. I'm trying not to look at them. <laughs> but I can see them standing up. Hey, you would think he dies. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to getting this movie. So i see you on the other side. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> hey. The 80s had the best music. I don't care. I don't care what nobody tell me. They make a song about anything. And then the music video, you have no idea what it's going to be. Saturday, March 24th, 1984. We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention. I seen a t-shirt. It was the, wrong. The f***? That's cool how nasty, isn't it? She just has a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. That's the way we saw each other at 7 o'clock this morning. We were brainwashed. But, um, yeah, I've seen a t-shirt. With the name of that school on it, and I didn't know what it was. It's so absurd I have to be here on a Saturday. They got Saturdays. And our school is going to give a scholarship to a discipline case. Amelia F. The is a wrestler. Hmm. Look at my f did he? Our parents is up. See, we had detention in my school, but they had a different. Like, we had in school detention, after school detention. We weren't showing up on Saturdays because not even the teachers wanted to be there. If you had, like, if they had like a random room to put you in, what they would do, they would put you in a classroom in the back of the room at a desk and put something around your desk. So you can't see the other students like it was gonna stop you from talking. They like we had cell phones back then like that. Well, well, here we are. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I don't think I belong in here. Oh, she bougie. Ponder the error of your ways. <laughs> Nasty as I'm kind of jealous, though, because I can't do it, but that's nasty. Any questions? Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. I hate that thing. That man is a brownie hound. What you doing? Yeah, you being loud as you Keep eating your hand. You're not going to be hungry for lunch. Oh, thank you, bitch. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, I done that one time. Like, messing with the clip on my lip. I ain't do this shit. But I had the pin on my lip. And that motherfucker pinched that last, that little bit of skin right there. Hey, you talk about some shit that hurt. I actually got kicked out of class for that. What are we supposed to do if we have to take a piss? If you gotta go. You got it, girl. Hey, you're not urinating in here, man. Don't talk. Don't talk. It makes her crawl back up. Is it going to piss right there? Butt face. Well, hey, Sporto, what'd you do to get in here? Just because you live in here doesn't give you the right to be a pain in the ass, so knock it off. 
it's a free country. So we got a bully, and then a <laughs> then a jock who <laughs> ain't like, hey, taking no shit. Are you guys like boyfriend girlfriend? Come on, Sporto, level with me. Maybe I was a bully in school. Maybe that's why I didn't stop saying it. Because when I know I got on some nice nerve, I just kept doing it. I didn't know any assholes. You know, Bender, you don't even count. I mean, if you disappear forever, it wouldn't make any difference. Damn. You don't even know any of us. I don't know any lepers either, but I'm not going to run out and join one of their fucking clubs. So let's watch the mouth, huh? So Emilio got manners, too. Okay. What do you guys do in your club? We talk about physics. You load up, you party. We don't know. We don't get high. Only burners like you get high. That's not true. I thought that one time in high school. Found out everybody was smoking. I got to meet this Saturday. I'm not going to miss it on account of you. Oh, and wouldn't that be a bite, huh? Missing a whole wrestling meet. Well, you wouldn't know anything about it. You never competed in your whole life. Ooh, I take the thing about manners back. Young man, have you finished your paper? Come on, Bender, don't screw around. What are you gonna do? Drop dead, I hope. Hey, Bender just don't give a f He do remind me of somebody I went to school with, though. They was wild like him. Why is that door closed? Why is that door closed? How are we supposed to know? We're not supposed to move, right? We're just sitting here, like we're supposed to. Oh, so she actually lied. Who? She doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh what, what? Does she not really talk? Now, I'm not about to make me feel bad if she really don't talk. The next screw that falls out is going to be you. Eat my shorts. What was that? Eat my shorts. I made a mistake saying that to my mom one time because Bart Simpson said it. I'm 40. I never said it again. You got one more right there. You really think I give a shit? Another. How many is that? That's seven, including the one when we first came in. You asked Mr. Vernon here. Shut the f up! Eight. You stay out of it. Excuse me, sir. It's seven. Shut up, Pee Wee. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. Damn, he been there for real. <laughs> he been there a lot of times. Yeah, he know that. Little girl, do you talk? <laughs> and for I didn't know she talks now. He's smoking in the library. Why would we do that? Oh, his dick hard. He got a chubby. I mean, I forgot people used to do that. Put the string around their finger until they go, no. Shut the f up. This bitch to made snow with her dandruff and was excited about it. See, I couldn't fall asleep. I'd be in there snoring. I'm talking about sawing logs. Wake up. Oh, they all sleep. What's he turn up? Is he ripping a book apart? Olay really pumps my nads. Oh, yeah. She's starting to like him, ain't she? You like your old man better than your mom? They're both screwed. No, I mean, if you had to choose between them. I don't know. Everybody know the answer to that question. You get along with your parents? So... Well, if I say yes, I'm an idiot, right? You're an idiot anyway. But if you say you get along... Actually, look at him. Well, you're a liar, too. If we weren't in school right now, I'd waste you. Can you hear this? Tell us, I mean... I, I, don't, I don't like my parents either, I mean... Hey, bro, you was just touching your dick. I mean, you not to touch me. Why do you have to insult everybody? What's your name? Brian. See? My condolences. What's your name? Oh, it's a fat girl's name. Oh, thank you. Damn, that's up. Oh, obscene finger gestures from such a pristine girl. How do you flip off like that? 
Are you a virgin? I'll bet you a million dollars that you are. Hey, he's asking some personal questions, ain't he? Why don't you just shut up? Have you ever kissed a boy on the mouth? You liked him a minute ago. Over the panties. No bra. Hey, Pepe Le Pew's in here in full force, ain't he? Leave her alone. I said leave her alone. You gonna make me? Y'all two should just box. I don't want to get into this with you, man. Why not? Because I'd kill you. That really, you was not winning that right there. I'd kill you, and it'd be a big mess, and I don't care enough about you to bother. Nah, I think you lost that, bro. You're, you're not... You got a knife. You don't talk to her. You don't look at her. You understand me? Why the little quiet girl just take the knife? Like she, she legit just came this this. I need her to get more camera time. She's weird, but I like her. He bored out his mind. They all whistling. All right, girls. That's 30 minutes for lunch. Here? Here. Will milk be made available to us? I have a really low tolerance for dehydration. I've seen her dehydrate, sir. It's pretty gross. <laughs> hey! Wake her, wake her up. Hey! Come on, on your feet! She ain't sleep! There's no rest home. She just wears hell. So, what's your poison? Like I'm telling y'all right now, if she put out a cat, voodoo doll, or horse's head or anything out that little purse, I wouldn't be surprised. Five glass. Vodka. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm here today because uh because, uh because my coach and my father don't want me to blow my ride. It's about how involved I am and what's happening to me. Yeah. So why are you there? Now, why don't you tell me why you're really in here? Forget it. I'm telling you, she ain't said nothing but that right there. She's my favorite one in the movie right now. What's in there? Guess. Where's your lunch? You're wearing it. Hey, he just told you a Why do you have so many sandwiches? I know he ain't about to eat all that. I mean, what's this little girl on? What is wrong with her? Oh, this bitch a fiend. She, a, hey, she a dope. She's a dope head. I don't. You, you're not gonna convince me. She does dope. You have to be on some to make a combination like this. Did your mom marry Mr. Rogers? Uh, no, Mr. Johnson. Son. Yeah, Dad. How's your day, pal? Great, Dad. Super. Say, son. Look at her. She's she likes this motherfucker. She's toxic. Toxic. Isn't our son swell? Isn't life swell? What's wrong with this dude, man? Hey, what about your family? Oh, mine? Yeah. Stupid, worthless, forgot, ugly, lazy, disrespectful. Shut up, bitch! What about you? Fuck you! Is that for real? You want to come over sometime? That's bullshit. You don't believe me? Did I stutter? You believe this? Huh? The size of a cigar. Do I stutter? Oh, we need to go f his daddy up then. <laughs> oh, this boy in the hood. I shouldn't have said that. Why? 
I know. I mean, he lies about everything anyway. Shut up! Shut up! Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's what the fuck are they doing? It's like a slob. My maid's on vacation. Do you got enough greasy bags? It's drugs. Put it back. It's drugs. Boy has marijuana. I told you, she's toxic. Look at her. She is gone. She a hey, lost in the sauce. Do you approve of this? You don't want to talk to her. She eat dandruff. And she a klepto. How are you lost in your own high school? Shit! God. Fuck you! Fuck you! Why are you looking at John? We're dead. How do you get lost in your own high school? That son of a bitch. The day I, I mean, at least he ain't trying to get the rest of them in trouble. He's that wild card friend. The one that does a lot of shit. You be like, man, what the fuck are you doing? But then when some shit happens, you like, he got your back. Bender! Bender! What is this? What are you doing here? What is this? He has on one sneaker, one boot. I think I'm trying out for a scholarship. Give me the ball. Hey, man, it's great. Everything's a big joke, huh, Bender? The false alarm you pulled Friday. False alarms are really funny, aren't they? What if your home, what if your family, what if your dope was on fire? I know how he switched up with your home because apparently he knows what's going on at home. You want to see something funny? John Bender, in five years, you'll see how goddamn funny he is. Hey, I don't like teaching this to act like that. What's the matter, John? You're going to cry? I mean, I, I'm telling you, I don't... Your fucking hands off me! I don't like that sh You're a fucking adult. Act like it. That's the last time, Bender. That's the last time you ever make me look bad in front of those kids. Do you hear me? But someday, man, when you're wrapped up in your own pathetic life, I'm gonna be there. And I'm gonna kick the living shit out of you. I know this ain't the type of movie, but can we kill him? You threatening me? What are you gonna do about it? You're a fucking dickhead, dude. You think anybody's gonna believe you? You think anybody is gonna take your word over mine? See, I've had teachers like this. That that tried this I'm a swell guy. You're a lion sack of shit. But I have enough of I don't give a f in me. Now I will let them know how I feel. Get on your feet, pal. Let's find out how tough you are. I'll give you the first punch. Let's go. Come on. I'll f fight him. I swear to God I would. You're a gutless turd. You're a fucking bitch. I'm telling you right now, I don't give a fuck what else he does in this movie. I hate this motherfucking more than bitch ass. For real. Because you know why? There's real teachers out there like that. Who fucking treat kids like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I come from a small ain't shit town. They would do that shit to you. Bitch. <laughs> God's name is going on in here. Thank you. What was that ruckus? Oh. What is this? I know I've been defending him for a minute, but come on, bro. You can't be doing that. I will not be made a fool of. Oh, you did put your pants up without wiping, you nasty bitch! <laughs> it was an accident. You're an asshole. But you liked it. I'm not saying it was right, but she liked it. So, Ahab, can I find my doobage? You're not gonna blaze up in here. Yeah. 
You're toxic. You're so toxic. And shut the f up. I know you're going. Shit. Oh, she's the last one. I think she'd be the first one called that old girl. <laughs> Listen. I don't smoke. <laughs> Listen. Shut the f up, Rash. Hey, he is fuckered up. Oh, how you explain that? I was about to say the weed they smoking was some bullshit, but apparently he gives you superpowers. Hey, but that's gotta it's kinda gotta be some bullshit. Because as they smoking that loud, they just melted. The birth date's March 12th, and your social security number is 049-380913. Bitch, are you my mother? Would you mind telling me how you know all this about me? I stole your wallet. He's got a nudie picture on there. I saw it. It's perverted. All right, let's see it. I saw it. It's perverted. Are all these your girlfriends? Some of them. I don't believe in just one guy, one girl. No, not for me. Why not? How come you got so much shit in your purse? How come you have so many girlfriends? I don't know. I guess I never throw anything away. Neither do I. Good answer. They talk to my friends. What do you need a fake ID for? So I can vote. You want to see what's in my bag? The f yes. Yes, yes, I do. Why does she have so many tampons? My home life is unsatisfying. Subject yourself to the violent dangers of these Chicago streets because your home life is unsatisfying. I can go to the ocean, I can go to the country, I can go to the mountains, Israel, Africa, Afghanistan. You know that she never said Detroit. Allison says their home life is unsatisfying. <laughs> and he talking <laughs> And he talking about her like she's not right here. Either you really want to run away, or you want people to think you want to run away. Eat shit. I don't care where she runs to, I just need her to wash her hair when she get there. Because you shouldn't make a picture and have dandruff to where it could be snow. Get some head and shoulders, some herbal essence or something. You want to talk? No. Why not? Go away. Why? Where do you want me to go? Go away. She's talked to you more than she's talked to anybody else in this movie. You do everything everybody ever tells you to do. That is a problem. But I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problems. Did I? Are they about to be a couple? What's wrong? What is it? Is it bad? Real bad? Are you going to tell us? What did they do to you? They ignore me. And they did just pull off earlier, though. Like, she was trying to say bye to him. No what did you want to be when you were young? When I was a kid, I wanted to be John Lennon. Carl, don't be a goof. I'm trying to make a serious point here. You're a person. Shut up. And each year, these kids get more and more arrogant. Come on, Vern. The kids haven't changed. You have. Exactly. These kids turned on me. Think I'm a big fucking joke. You are. F***ing bitch. You're a f***ing bitch. Now this is the thought that wakes me up in the middle of the night. That when I get older, these kids are going to take care of me. Well, maybe you shouldn't treat them like shit, bitch. Would you drive to school naked? <laughs> I've done that. Uh, would I have to get out of the car? 
course. I didn't do that. I do that. I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it either. <laughs> oh! <laughs> do I smell a whore? Are your parents aware of this? The only person I told was my shrink. What did he do when you told him? Oh! He nailed me. We, we got some Harvey out there. Are you crazy? Honestly, she's crazy if she's screwing a shrink. Or just horny as What if it says to me? Kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? If you say you haven't, you're a prude. If you say you have, you're a slut. Or are you a tease? She's a tease. I'm sure. Why don't you just forget it? Hey. Why'd she call her out like that? You guys are putting words into my mouth. Well, if you just answer the question. They are on her ass. Answer, answer the question. question. Don't be a it's No! I never did it! Shut the f*** up! I'm not a nymphomaniac. I'm a compulsive liar. I love this bitch. You're just pissed off because she got you to admit something you didn't want to admit to. That doesn't make an A-list bizarre. I mean, we're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it, that's all. He can't think for himself. She's right. And she's calling out the whole group. I'll take it. She'll be my friend. I will hang with her. You guys know what uh, what I did to get in here? I'll take it. She'll be my friend. I will hang with her. I taped Larry Lester's buns together. <laughs> and afterwards, all I could think about was Larry's father. Fucking humiliation he must have felt. Language. I mean, how do, you, how do you apologize for something like that? I'm sorry. I was an asshole. I didn't. <laughs> I was a dick. I mean, you can say sorry. He might not accept it, but you can, it's easy to say sorry. Like, I never understood that. Like, like, all right. Like, he did that to try to impress his old man. Like, you know how many stories I heard about my mom or dad? You know what I'm saying? Like, my mom was a good kid. She made good grades. She was quiet. She never got in trouble. All right, well, I'm not my mom. <laughs> you tell me something, I'm going to have to say something back to you. Your dad was super popular, real cool, whatever. All right, that's cool and all. You know what I'm saying? I'm popular too. I get along with everybody. It it was time not to get along with <laughs> I think your old man and my old man should get together and go bowling. What's wrong with your family? Your family life ain't that perfect. My grades. He still look hot. What's wrong with you? Why don't you like yourself? Because I'm failing shop. Remember my first F. I was never stupid. I just always felt homework was pointless. So I would just never take it home. You must be a fucking idiot. I would just do all this in school. What do you know about trigonometry? I could care less about trigonometry. I can write with my toes. What is it? I can also eat, brush my teeth. I can make spaghetti. What can you do? Tape all of your buns together. I want to see what Claire can do. Now everybody can do something. That is true. Everybody has a talent. Everybody has a talent. OK. You have to swear to God you won't laugh. I make no such thing. No such promises. So her talent is her, that her titties can put on her lipstick? My image of you is totally blown. You're a shit. You fucking prick. I could disappear forever and it wouldn't make any difference. I mean, he held on to that, didn't he? Remember? And you don't like me anyway. And it hurts just as much when somebody steps all over them. God, you're so pathetic. You got everything, and I got shit. Are those real diamonds, Claire? Shut up. Did you work for the money? Shut for those your earrings? mouth. Or did your daddy buy those? For Shut you? up! I bet he bought those for you. See, they, they, they so much better than me. You know what I got for Christmas this year? I got a carton of cigarettes. The old man grabbed me and said, hey, smoke up, Johnny. Listen, I feel bad for his situation, but if you're going to try to attack me with my life, I'm going to be on your ass. I promise you, you're going to feel worse than me. I promise you. 
Because really, at the end of the day, I don't care what you say about me. It's just the point that you tried me. I will not be disrespected, especially to my face. I will not. I know it's kind of a weird time, but I was just wondering um, what is going to happen to us on Monday. Are we still friends, you mean? We're friends now, that is. I mean, why is it such a hard day? If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? Say hi to him, and when he left, you cut him all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. Why? I've never understood that. Why? You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? Because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. Stand up to your friends and tell them that you're going to like who you want to like. What about you, you hypocrite? Why don't you take Allison to one of your heavy metal vomit parties? Or take Brian out to the parking lot at lunch to get higher? What about Andy, for that matter? What about me? You don't know any of my friends. Just bury your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you. Good. So they broke up? Then I assume Alice and I are better people than you guys, huh? Do you? Then I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, and I will not. Like, why would you do that to somebody? You're, like, full of yourself. Why are you like that? I hate having to go along with everything my friends say. Well, then why do you do it? Oh, we're, we're built different. You know, you just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you. What are you talking about? Did y'all grow up like this? Well, fuck you! Fuck you. Seriously, did y'all grow up like this? I'm here. Mr. Ryan found a gun in the locker. Oh, What's the gun for, Brian? Just forget it. You brought it up, man. I can't have an F. Oh, he's gonna shoot my poor ass? <laughs> Why would you shoot yourself in school? That was a flare gun. Went off in my locker. <laughs> it's not funny. <clears throat> you want to know what I did to get in here? Nothing. I didn't have anything better to do. <laughs> Shut the f up. I love her so much. Y'all don't understand. I will forever watch this movie for her. I will <laughs> thank you. I love her so much. What the f are they doing? Shut the f up. Oh, this is f amazing, man. So Don't be afraid. Can we watch her hair? Just close it. No, wait. wait. Just close it. Go like that. W watch her hair. The makeup. Watch her hair. <sighs> he was brushing his teeth with that earlier. You lost? Toxic. Toxic. <laughs> oh, I seen you. Yeah, she got a forehead and everything. We didn't know that. What? Toxic. I told you, toxic. You know how you said before how your parents use you to get back at each other? Wouldn't I be outstanding in that capacity? Just so different. Shoot or shoot. Let's see your face. <laughs> see you next Saturday. Yeah. Hey, man. This movie amazing. Shoot or shoot. Damn. She took his hoodie and his patch.
The fuck you gonna do with the air raid? Is it supposed to work? Oh, that was on her daddy's car? Ain't no way here. I let that happen with her daddy. What you doing, last boy? Pick up and get the car kissed on you. This put in his ear. Dear Mr. Vernon, what we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case, a princess and a criminal. Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't, don't. This is amazing. Hey man, I'm about to go watch this shit again. As soon as I send this to blank, I'm turning this shit right back on. I'm watching this shit again. This shit go hard. Still, fuck that teacher. But this shit goes hard. Bravo. This is my shit. I'm going to tell you. This is this is rotation, heavy rotation. I like how everybody in there, like legit, was different but the same. Everybody in this movie felt like a real person. Like no, how, no matter how modern their issue was, to other people, it was very heavy and very serious to them. And um. Once you get down to the core of it, you will understand it more. Like they, like everybody truly understand what was going on with each other. I love how at, the, how at the end, basically they all come together and become like true friends. Like they even had the conversation, like, "Are we going to be friends on Monday?" A lot of times, conversations like that don't get had. That's a real combo that need to be had. Like I'm just telling you, like I loved everything about this man. Even though I didn't like that motherfucker, that the teacher, I like that he's in there like that. Because it it truly shows how some teachers are. All teachers ain't there to help you. All teachers ain't ain't there to make shit better, make shit sweet. You know what I'm saying? There's some out there just for a paycheck, you know what I'm saying? And they, they're tired and aggravated, they don't want to be there. And the first chance they get, they will dog a child. Put them down, make them feel worse instead of trying to bring them up. I'm telling you, there's some teachers out there like that. I think all of them need to be fired. I don't care, don't care, don't care. I don't care if that's how they got to pay their bills. If you're that way to kids, you don't need to be a teacher. If you're allergic to peanuts, you shouldn't eat them. You know what I'm saying? It's the same principle. You don't need to be there. Even though Pepe Le Pew ass, he's a little different. <laughs> that's a little weird shit. But it's you know what I'm saying? He's, we could get that out of him. And Emilio Estevez ran right around and had a seizure. I'm pretty sure y'all gonna call that dancing, but that's not what that was. He was crying for help. That's not dancing. I'm glad I picked this. I'm happy. I did good. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you for putting me through hell. So I will pick the most common movie I can find. On the list of movies. Thank you. So I can watch. I'm so happy I found this fucking trash. Like when I tell you these are my type movies, this is my shit. This is my type shit right here. Love this shit. I hope y'all enjoy watching it with me because I enjoy watching it for y'all. Telling y'all, I'm about to go watch this shit again. If you didn't do it for me earlier, please do it for me now. Hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget that bell notification so you remind them whenever we drop something new. Don't forget that out in the description to link to Patreon. Head over there and check that out. Like I said earlier, I thank y'all for showing up, being part of your family. I love talking to y'all in the premieres. I love seeing y'all's comments. I'm sorry I don't get a reply to everybody's comments. I apologize. It's just, it's a lot more of y'all now. It was easier to do it when it was 5,000, but now it's a lot of people. But I love reading y'all's comments. I love talking to y'all in the chats. Everything. Like, thank y'all for being the best part of this channel. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. There you go. He told y'all. Y'all be good.
Y'all be safe. Night, night. <laughs>